Well, spooky season is upon us, which is officially October, and that means that Scream Fortress is just around the corner, but before that drops, hopefully, we're going to take a look at the workshop where most of these cosmetics will be coming from, if not all of them. And we're just going to go through these spooky looking cosmetics, seeing if there's any that I would like being added to the game. Now, I do want to say, if I don't like your cosmetic, that doesn't mean it's a bad cosmetic, it just means it does not fit my tastes. It can still be a very good cosmetic, and you know what? It's very good that we have people making cosmetics for this game, because without it, the community would surely die. So I just want to say, if you're a workshop creator, thank you. My opinion does not mean anything. Let's jump into it. So I've just gone on the uh, workshop here, and we've gone on the uh, browsing items, headgear, and misks. So this should give me the most amount of cosmetics, I think. Already, at just a glance, there's a lot of very nice looking cosmetics here. Possibly too many for one release. But we're going to start off with the haunting headlights here. They make the pyro have glowy eyes. Kind of like the uber icons. They might have been um, inspired by that to be honest. You know what? They look pretty cool. Got some cool styles going on here. Very nice indeed. You know what? I wouldn't mind them being added to the game. I probably wouldn't use them myself. But they do look very cool. Uh, Pickle Medic. I mean it's compatible with TF2. So that's a good thing. <laughs> right. Rick showcase. Okay, so this is Rick from Rick and Morty. All right. Okay. Hold on. Where are you? I'm at work, bitch, Morty. Are you invisible and you're gonna like fart on me? Flip the pickle over. What? I'm gonna touch it and you're gonna tell me it's an alien dick or something. Come on, flip the pickle, Morty. You're not gonna regret it. The payoff is huge. I turn myself into a pickle, Morty. Boom! Big reveal. I'm a pickle. What do you think? You know what? It's a funny meme cosmetic, and that's okay. But personally, <laughs> I would not like to see this in game. But if this did get into game, Zesty Jesus would have a fucking field day. He would probably have a meltdown on Twitter, if we're being honest here. The ludicrously lunatic Lunon Fedora. Ah, so it's got like lights, I'm guessing. The tube lights. Just on a fedora. That's pretty cool. It kind of goes with that neon pyro thing we got. You know, the neon... The neon pyro cosmetic, you know the one? What's this? Deep lore going on there. Oh shit, this is like a whole little whole little update thing. This is cool to be fair, like these little neon outlines on the weapons and like the case and stuff, and the key as well. But the fact that they've thought this entire thing out, like the, the head splitter looks beautiful. Yeah, they've smashed it. Hey, if this hat got in TF2, you could pair it with that pyro cosmetic and it'll look very nice. Do you know what? I would be I would be mad if that was in TF2. The Jackass Assassin now, what is this? Is this a little meme? Is this a little, a little May May? You know what? Just from this picture here, I was like, that's not really good cosmetic. But now I've actually seen like work with other cosmetics as well, be painted and stuff. Actually looks pretty cool. I would not be bad if this was in TF2. I mean, this, you know, this is a lovely, lovely image of this guy on the toilet. But the hairstyle is pretty cool. The nightlight here, what is this? Need some, sh need some candles on the shoulders of the, uh, the old sniperino. Fair dues. You know, it's not for me personally. I would not wear this cosmetic because it's not really my style, you know, I, I, it's just, short, just candles on shoulders, really. And from the, my sniper loadouts, I don't think it'd work at all, personally. <laughs> oh, this, this is wonderful. I love this. I absolutely love this. Like, you, you could say, like, oh, it's, it's not a, a serious cosmetic, but <laughs> it doesn't need to be a serious cosmetic. Look at this. Are you saying you won't want this in TF2? I would love this in TF2. Wow! <laughs> you can paint it. You can chill it with Mr. Mr. Croaking Hazard. It just, just looks so good. But sometimes, more unexpected sounds yeah. get our attention. Yeah, it's gonna be this video, isn't it? <laughs> like this desert rain frog, squeaking viral sensation. <laughs> Eleven million hits and I love this. It sounds like a dog toy. But actually, this is the sonorous war cry of a very angry frog. <laughs> I love it. I love it. For Whoever made this Emperor Faze Faze very good video. Absolutely wonderful. I'm a huge fan. That is going in TF2, hopefully. <laughs> Why? Oy, 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 what the fuck? Holy shit. That is terrifying. <laughs> this is a very, very cool looking cosmetic for Pyro. Reminds me of that Fallout character. 
I'm not a big Fallout fan, so I don't know their name, but they're on screen. It looks very cool, yeah. I'm not sure who this is based off of, but it, as I said, it gives me them vibes. Yeah, it looks cool. That looks cool. Pyro tie. Now this is a bit of me. You may have noticed if you've looked at my channel, I kind of have a little computer head guy. That's sort of like my avatar, so to speak, although I haven't done much with him at the moment. And this is similar vibes to that. I really like it. I wouldn't use it personally because I'm pretty happy with the pyro set I've got already. But it looks very cool. It looks straight out of TF2 as well. They've nailed the art style on this one, especially. You can really see it in this part here. It looks like the engineer has just created this, which is a very, very nice touch. Very nice cosmetic. I, I like it. I like it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't oppose that being in TF2. Now this, if you see these things done right in like horror movies and stuff, it, it can be very, very spooky. I really like it. I know it's not very uh, high effort cosmetic, so to speak. You just remove the eyes and the features, but it works for Scream Fortress like it is scary. I always made another video. That is terrifying. That is very terrifying. How would it work for Pyro? <laughs> How would it work for Pyro though? Does Pyro not have a style? I guess not. I like it though. I like it. The used plates. Oh, this, this person looks lovely. This is, this is lovely. The helmet. I'm a fan. This whole item's out of fat. Yeah, one eye should be missing due to, you know, him wearing an eye patch and everything. But that could just easily be an alternate style on the item. I love it. I'm a big, big fan of this. Humble Bean. Um, I mean, it looks funny. Not sure whether I'd like this in TF2 though. Like, I can accept, you know, I can accept a silly little cosmetic every now and then, but this, this might be too silly for me. Um, I don't think I can back this. Skullaclava. Very cool, very cool that it comes with a plain style as well, really put together these wonderful loadouts with all the, all the cosmetics they've been adding recently, especially this one here, very cool. Yeah, I like it. Now I think it's, you know, it's a simple idea, you know, having the school on the balaclava, you know, it's a, kind of a cliche thing almost, but I'm surprised you don't have one in TF2 already, this looks amazing. Get it in the game right now. Good looks. Ah, this, this one. I like this one a lot. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. You can paint the goo. Your, your goo does this. Get it in the game, boys. Now this cosmetic looks very cool. Now you've got this cool little post, this little icon here, but then you look at it with these cosmetics and you're like, yes, absolutely phenomenal. This is a very nice looking cosmetic. Very cool. I don't know what this mask's about. I don't really like the mask, but this one and this one. Very cool. Get it in the game, Valve. Very good Halloween cosmetic. We're gonna finish it off, I think, by looking at this wonderful cosmetic, the Radiation Shield, with facial movements that will probably coincide with when the engineer speaks. Moves his mouth. I like that. That's a very cool feature. And this looks a quite a nice cosmetic. Look at that. Wow. That's cool. That's very cool. Yeah, I like that extreme fortress personally. But yeah, the community is smashing it once again with their cosmetics for this game. They really do be keeping the game alive. We can't really thank them enough for that because it's TF2. We love this game. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to what Screen Fortress brings. I'm looking forward to the new maps because we're getting some new maps apparently. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what we get this year. Anyway, I've been over the giant tree and this has been my little preview i guess you could say to screen fortress if you have enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe down below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace hey oh uh, uh i've been up for like two hours two hours yo bitch can food took a few showers few showers i don't buy my just money dance yeah that wristwatch costs a hundred grand I